All right, we're gonna run through the steps to switch our Whisper 100 from a 48 volt system to a 24 volt system. And in order to do that, we need to rewire our stator and brush wires. So in order to change our Whisper 100 to a 24 volt system, we're gonna have to remove our multi-voltage plate. So we'll use an Allen key and just unscrew our two screws here. And on the back side of this multi-voltage plate, you'll see the wire configurations for wiring a 12, 24, or 48 volt system. Inside, you'll see our brush wires, which are the black ones, which have the red nuts, and then you'll see our stator wires here, which have the yellow nuts. So depending on what voltage of the system you want, you need to rewire your yellow and red wires. So to make things easier, we're just gonna go ahead and unscrew our red and yellow wire nuts. Just remember that the red wire nuts go with the brush wires and the yellow wire nuts go with the stator wires. Using the chart on the back of our multi-voltage plate, I reconfigured the wiring with our interchangeable brush wires to our stator wires. Um, I kind of reconfigured it without actually putting the wire nuts in first just to kind of organize myself so I can go through and now and attach my wire nuts. Remember the red wire nuts attach to the brush wires. So these three wires here are going to get the red wire nuts. And the rest of these other two ones are going to get the yellow wire nuts. That's just to help you keep yourself organized. We've already put some petroleum jelly on our leads here to help prevent corrosion. Now it's always nice to twist your wires first before attaching your wire nuts. So we have our white one, white three to our first brush wire. We're going to attach our red wire nut. The second brush wire has red two, red dash. If your stator wires are covered, you're more than welcome to cut some of the excess shield off with some snips, some wire cutters. Once again, we've already put petroleum jelly onto the end of our wires. Throw our red wire nut on there. And our last brush wire has our black three and black one coming from our stator. Thank you. 
So to finish off our wiring up our system, we're going to use our yellow wire nuts to connect our red one, our white two, and our black two from, with our stator wires. So we'll get those together and throw a yellow wire nut on and push down hard because these are copper wires, a little bit harder to turn than the brush wires. Get on there nice and tight. And then we'll do our last set, which is the white dash, red three, and black dash. Once we have our last wire nut on, we can go ahead and put our multi-voltage plate back on and our system is now officially 24 volts.